I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to show you a technique using two amp blocks on the Axe FX3 or the FM9. I'm on the Axe FX3 today, and I call this technique Just Add Plexi, where you take an existing tone that you're pretty happy with. Let's say you start with the Cameron CCV2A at stock settings, because I think this sounds amazing at stock settings. I've actually paired this up with one of my own cab IRs that's not my usual cab IR. This one is based on a Marshall cab with vintage 30s, so it's a little bit more aggressive and in your face. And we have a bit of the good old London plate reverb going on. This is a 2002 Les Paul standard with some Martin A. Smith PAF style humbuckers. This is what it sounds like at the moment. Like I said, I think it sounds awesome. Awesome modded Marshall style sound there, very brown, very forgiving when you play it and when you dig in it has this wonderful kind of squishy feel happening. So I think that sounds fantastic, but one way you could bring out say a little bit of a different character into this particular amp, which I think is a great way when you're recording to just kind of change up your tones between different tracks. Let's say you were recording two different songs and you'll love the way this sounds for the first song. And then for the second song you go, you know what, I just want to change up my tone just a little bit. I want the same kind of core thing happening there. I want the same amount of gain. I want the same general kind of output from my app, but I just want a slightly different texture in there. So what you can do, take this, add a second amp block and just dial up your favorite Plexi style amp. I really like the 1959 SLP treble. So we'll just add this in parallel like so. What I want to do though, is just show you what this amp sounds like on its own first. So let's mute this block here. So I'm going to bypass it and I'm going to set the bypass mode to mute. And I'll just set the level on this. I've got to reach over a little bit here to about minus nine. So you can see I've just brought the bass down. I've cranked the middle and the treble. Everything else is pretty much its stock settings. And it's a pretty rude rock and roll sound, nowhere near as thick and smooth as the CCV 2A. But that's a good thing because we want contrast here. Check it out. <laughs> That is such an addictive sound. It's basically ACDC in a box. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the level down quite a bit on this. We just wanna add a pinch. So we'll go back to our main tone with the CCV 2A. And what I could do here is I could add a looper block in front of this. I could loop a riff and then I could just bring the level on that plexi up to where I like it. And again, use your ears and not your eyes here. This is why the looper is really cool for this kind of thing. What I'm gonna do here, because I don't have a foot controller in front of me, I'm gonna set the record threshold up somewhere here and then I can arm the recorder here. So when I start playing, it's actually gonna start playing record. Awesome. Now, of course, that is slightly louder, which when you're comparing two sounds, loud is always more good. But I like the actual kind of texture this amp is bringing in there on its own for the sort of thing I like. It's maybe not quite tight enough in the low end, but this Cameron CCV2A definitely is. But the Cameron just could do with that extra little bit of grit and stank on there. So blending them together gives me this, and this is so satisfying to play. <laughs> That is 
such an amazing hard rock rhythm sound. I love that combo in there. I could use the camera and CCV 2A on its own, but blended with the Plexi, it just brings on its own character. It's a great way to, I guess, create a custom amp tone the way that lots of people have done in the past with real world amps in the studio. So another amp that I love on its own is the USA Lead Mid Gain. This is my go-to amp for just about everything I do. It's even better with a Plexi on there, in my opinion, if you're going for a kind of rock or metal tone in there, because this thing is so tight and so smooth and well-defined, and then you add in this complimentary nasty tone from the Plexi. <laughs> So way more mid-range energy in there, but it is still really tight like you would expect from a Mark series. It's a very cool best of both worlds approach there. Now, this approach isn't just limited to dirty sounds. You can take a clean amp like we looked at last week. I've got the band commander dialed up. We'll take that and we'll blend in just a little bit of this kind of plexi sound. So let's have a listen to the band commander on its own, then I'll kick the plexi in. It's really interesting there, excuse my uh, out of tune Les Paul doing its out of tune Les Paul thing, but just blending it in, you can definitely hear it on the isolated guitar, but in the context of a track, that's gonna add texture rather than sound distorted. It's just gonna kind of make your clean tone sit in the mix a little bit. It's gonna pop just that little bit more and it'll be one of those kind of subtle things where that dirty part of the sound will mostly kind of blend with the other instruments, but it will reinforce your main guitar. It's really interesting way to go about blending amps. So the main takeaway, you don't have to just use a Plexi for this. I happen to love the way Plexi amps sound blended with my favorite amps. You can take any nasty sounding distorted amp and set it up so that it is a complementary sound to the main sound that you're already using. We saw that with the CCV. We saw that with the USA lead mid gain and we especially saw it with the band commander. You just think about the properties of the sound you've got at the moment and you think, what's the opposite of that? Do I have a mid scoop sound? I'll go for a mid heavy tone. Do I have a really smooth sound? I'll go for something that's really raspy sounding. And then you blend it in just a little bit to taste. You can think of it as extra seasoning on there. And especially when you're recording, this can be a great way to bring out character and breathe new life into your existing guitar tracks. And it works pretty well live as well. So that's this week's Tuesday tone tip. It's called Just Add Plexi. It could be Just Add Any Nasty Sounding Amp. Let me know in the comments if you've got a particular amp that's your go-to when you're recording to blend with other amps, to just kind of bring out some character. And this can be a great way to kind of shape your own signature sound on the AxeFX 3. Until next Tuesday, I hope you all have a fantastic week. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.